Hey Pellers, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be telling you guys how I got my hands on a super bike for basically half the price. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Now if you're wondering how I got my hands on this bike, it's very simple. I was actually in the midst a while back thinking of making a video about buying a refurbished bike versus buying a brand new bike from a bike store. And that's actually when I stumbled upon this website and company called Cycling Avenue. Now they're located in Canada, which is the country where I live, and to the province or for my United States viewers, the state beside me, which is Quebec. And they actually run a business where they actually sell refurbished bikes. I was very intrigued and reached out to them and we were able to work something out where they would send me one of their super bikes for me to test out and check out the overall experience that you get when you buy a refurbished bike from them. So that's what I really hope to show with this video. Now this video is long but very thorough which I think is amazing so you guys see from start to finish the experience you get if you decide to buy a refurbished bike but in no way is this video sponsored. I was very intrigued and really wanted to get a first hand experience at what it's like buying a refurbished bike online so I'm very appreciative that Cycling Avenue was able to make that happen so I highly suggest you watch through the whole video but if you guys want to see my you know concluded thoughts you can obviously watch the ending but I would say stick around for the whole thing and we're gonna jump right into it right now so the bike that I was given was the Argon 18 Gallium Pro Disc 2019 the original price in Canadian was 9,000 Canadian dollars which equates to around 6,800 USD and the savings that you're getting from the original price uh, is $5,689 Canadian which equates to around 4,300 USD so the savings are quite substantial in terms of overall value that you're actually getting and I'll just give you guys a quick breakdown of the bike. So looking on the website, the website's very clear and clean looking. So that's one thing I really like about it. It's very simple to see the pictures up front to see what bike you're actually getting. So it's very nice. I actually rate it where a lot of even bike companies have struggle with having a clean, um, you know, user interface experience. Now, if we look actually at the specs everything's laid out there very clear and concise for you to see and also has a size chart so if this is the first time you're buying a bike very simple it shows description geometry in terms of all the seat angles and tubes in terms of the frame and it also has the shipping and return policy that you guys can read links to the website will be in the description you can see in terms of the specs it's very simple to read bike category is road frame size 55 usually i ride a 58 but in terms of testing i chose to go with this bike so slightly smaller but you know I, I do race, so it wasn't that uncomfortable. Uh, group set with Shimano Ultegra Di2. Um, the whole group set is hydraulic. The wheels were Vision Trimax 30 millimeter disc uh, rims. Uh, really nice condition, says pre owned, which we know this is a refurbished bike. Um, and then everything else is pretty standard. I don't really have to go through all of that, but really nice. And then it says also Di2 charger included. So this bike. In terms of what you get on the website I would have to say spoiler alert we will see it but it was what you see on the website is truly what you get so guys now we're gonna be taking a look at the refurbished bike that has been set up by mechanic and verified and basically super affordable so now guys we're gonna be taking a look at how they package the bike um, and let's just get right into it. I already opened it, so I didn't have to open it, just the top part. So I opened it up, and there's a lot of paper protecting the bike. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like in terms of the packaging. But so far, so good. And it did come, they threw in a cycling, um, cycling avenue cap. So I think this looks pretty nice, pretty stylish. Put it on. I always like wearing hats in my videos, so. I always mentioned that I love other companies to send me hats, so the fact that Cycling Avenue actually sent me one is pretty nice. Uh, but other than that, I'll show you guys what it looks like inside, and then we'll go from there. So in terms of the packaging, like I said, you guys can see that there's zip ties right here. So it's really secure. Uh, it comes with the Di2 uh, battery charger, so that's nice to see. And everything looks pretty pretty well packaged. I really do like how it's set up. I guess it comes with a multi-tool because that's basically all you need to actually build a bike up, usually. Um, so that's nice to see that it comes with a multi-tool and it comes with two set of reflectors which I always suggest using lights but it's nice that they put this in just in case that this is maybe the first time you're buying a bike so you don't have lights this is awesome and then let's see in terms of the instructions that you get so I guess this little thing right here it's kind of like the instructions and then basically it says 
<sighs> your satisfaction is important to us. You will find below the steps to follow in order to properly assemble your new bicycle. If you encounter any difficulties, please contact our customer service department. So basically you have a pretty good service department that would assist you if you guys are confused with anything. So before you start, inspect the box, take pictures. If there's any damage, contact us if that is the case. Keep the box and packaging materials until the bike is fully assembled and inspected. Uh, in the box you'll find uh, an assembly guide and envelope with tools. So I guess that was right here, which is basically the multi-tool set, which is basically all you need. And those reflectors. And if you have a torque wrench, you can refer to the newton meter shown on the bicycle. So if you guys are not sure, uh, especially with carbon, certain parts uh, that are, you know, have to be tightened, you know, you don't want to crack the carbon. So you have to actually torque it to the specific uh, newton meter, which is just how much tension and how much force is actually applied on that piece. So for example, the seat post, you don't want to over torque it or even with some of, um, for the stem, you don't want to over torque it because you can have cracks. Uh, and other than that, the bike tool is in the bag with our necessary other parts, proper function of the bike, detach the saddle and seat post from the bike. Uh, some bikes need a specific piece of tightening, like I said, seat post and seat tube, if necessary, in a small bag. Detach handlebar, attach the stem, basically very common stuff. Detach the front wheel, attach the front fork. Uh, repeat the step in a rear wheel if necessary. If your bike is equipped with a quick release or through axle, it'll be in a small bag. Uh, make sure your quick release levers and through axles in a closed position. And also test the brakes that are working functionally. If your bike is equipped with rim brakes, close the caliper lever. Le lever. If your bike is equipped with disc brakes, ensure proper wheel alignment. Install, install your seat post to make sure everything is aligned. Remove the protective tubes from the bicycle frame. Inflate the tires. And I think you're basically done at that point. And they also have it in French. So these, this is a, a Canadian company. So they have it in both English and French, which is nice if uh, you do speak French, right? You can have the instructions directly in French. So enough of the chit chat. I just wanted to say that because if you guys are watching this video and you know, you're thinking of purchasing a refurbished bike, you know, this is something that you'll have to figure out by yourself. So we'll leave the Di2 charger on the side right here, and then we'll open this up right now. And since I worked at a bike shop in the past, this isn't you know new to me. We get bikes like this all the time. Um, so we we'll pull it out all at once, and this is how the bike basically comes packaged. Which, as you guys can see, it's very compact. Um, and pretty standard in terms of how bikes are actually delivered. So right out of the box now you can see that everything is nicely protected and packaged, which I do like to see, especially if you know, you're getting a bike, you want everything to come from the shipment uh, really nice. And I would say this is just some really good quality in terms of how everything is secured and you know everything that you want protected is protected. So I really do like to see that in terms of how it is packaged. You can see that the handlebars are turned sideways. Pretty standard, seat post is attached to the top tube. And one thing that's interesting is, because this bike is DI2, you know, it already comes pre-assembled in terms of having the, you know, the cables for DI2 actually ready and attached. So you can see right here, the DI2 is already installed uh, properly, especially with the junction box right there. So, you know, it should make installation of setting this up Pretty, uh, pretty easy, especially if you're not someone that is familiar with bikes. But now I actually am gonna take everything off and then show you guys the assembly process of putting the bike together. One thing I already like that I noticed is that other than these revision carbon rims that are super nice, uh, super shallow, so it'd be good for climbing, but it's very clean. That's one thing I like, especially if you're buying a refurbished bike, you want something that's been thoroughly deep cleaned. So that's nice to see that it's been properly uh, taken care of. So we'll put that aside right now. And you want to make sure that you don't contaminate the rims with your hands. And we'll just keep cutting away at the zip ties. So as you guys can see, there is a lot of packaging that has been uh, taken off the bike and the bike looks to be very nicely uh, delivered. So I'll give you guys a close up after of the refurbished bike, but so far so good. I'm going to put this aside, clean this area up and then we'll continue in terms of building the bike up. So in terms of finishing up the build, we're gonna take, I really do like how they include uh, a multi-tool set. It's very nice to see. So I'll cut this open and then we'll use exactly what they give us to build the bike. And one thing that's interesting is that they didn't have to disassemble uh, the stem in terms of, I mean the fork, they didn't have to take the fork completely off. So it makes it very easy. I'll verify that uh, you know, it's probably set up in terms of no play, but 
it's been uh, professionally checked by mechanics, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's perfectly fine. But it's always good to double check. I made a video on my channel that you should always do a pre-ride check. But uh, right here, we're gonna be installing um, the seat post. So I'm gonna tighten the seat post once I kind of decide exactly what position or the height that I want it in. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna open this. I, I didn't know if they did include pedals, but obviously it would be pedals that you know you would have to use on a bike, but they include flat pedals, which is nice because if this is the first time you're getting a road bike, you might actually have not decided what pedal system you want to go with that was not smooth so they include some basic um some basic flat pedals which i'm not going to be installing since i have an extra pair of uh, pedals laying around but uh that's nice to see that they include that i will not be putting these reflectors on uh just because i have my own lights that i use um but if you guys don't have any lights i always suggest having more protection now, one thing I really do like that this reminds me of is that the back wheel is already set up so you don't really have to worry about any of the gearing situation, especially with the front chain set being set up properly. I like to verify that also. That's really nice to see. In terms of, uh, other than that, with, with this multi-tool, you're just going to loosen up the front stem, which is right here. So we'll just loosen this up. And once we put the handlebars on, and the front wheel it's basically done at that point so i'll speed up this process but so far so good so the front wheel is in now now my battery did die but this is a video of the bike fully built up i added my uh pedals onto the bike that I had laying around and you can see that from top to bottom like i said right before we got into looking at it what you see on the website is truly what you get so very pleased in terms of that cycling avenue does deliver a very uh you know good experience in terms of the bike is exactly as it is described and uh, promoted so i really like to see that other than that i'm just showing you guys close up of all the different parts of the bike um and this is where i'm going to get into my final thoughts before we actually get into the test ride was the build experience was very simple very straightforward uh if you know anything about building a bike uh, which there's tons of video i showed in my own video all you really need to do is be able to use an allen key to tighten bolts it's very simple a lot of people think it's they overcomplicated, it. and that's one thing i love about cycling avenues approach is that basically the mechanic sets it up in a way where everything is pretty much ready to go you don't need to bleed anything you don't need to readjust anything so having expert mechanics makes this whole process very simple where all you really have to do is put the front wheel you know, you just got to put the handlebars on and then you're ready to ride. So my concluding thoughts throughout this whole experience was Cycling Avenue really delivers on their promise of having a really high quality refurbished bike that's clean, ready to ride and in top quality. So if your goal is to save money and time, Cycling Avenue really does provide a high quality experience when buying a refurbished bike where if you know exactly what you want, you have an idea of your frame size and you do want those savings, then totally having a refurbished bike that's provided by cycling avenue that's been checked out by their mechanics ready for you to ride is a very good option the only comparison i would give is that when you compare buying a bike to a bike shop you know a bike shop you might not get savings depends on what they have in stock um also it depends on terms of what size recycling avenue everything that's on their website is actually what they have in stock where you can go to a bike shop several bike shops and not have a size just because it's sold out so that's one thing that i would say it's like an avenue has is that if they they have a variety of sizes uh in stock where some bike shops sell out very fast uh, and because these are refurbished bikes these are older bikes uh, a year or two old sometimes they even get current stuff but usually it's uh, 2019 2018 which increases the likelihood of having your size but the only uh cool thing with a bike shop is you get to actually test ride the bike or in this situation you don't get to test right before you buy however the one thing i like about that is that if you know you're a 56 or in my case a 58 and you want to buy a bike and get those savings and you want it very simple or straight to your door then this is a great option but you just need to really figure out what suits your needs and what you want out of a bike buying experience so you know at the end of the day i'm really happy i went through and uh did this video because it was a big eye-opening experience to see you know it is from an expert rider that's worked in the bike industry that knows about building bikes and all 
everything that comes with buying a bike i would say this experience is very good and the fact that i'm not sponsored to say this i genuinely am sharing my true thoughts from picking the bike to having the bike delivered to having the setup to riding it test riding it everything checks out uh very good high quality refurbished bike um, basically their, their goal is basically delivering customers a refurbished bike uh, that feels like they have a brand new bike which I, I generally do feel like they accomplish so that's great so like I said at the beginning if you guys want to check cycling Avenue out link in the description below and until the next one keep on pedaling